Let's now review Laravel Breeze package. Laravel Breeze package is a brand new package created by Taylor Otwell. So it's an official package and it has just released two or three days back. But why we need this package and what is the use of this package? So remember back in time, we had this Laravel UI package, which is for the authentication scaffolding with a bootstrap for designing for front end we had the react and a view and everything was fine life was good until the level jet stream came so with level 8 we got level jet stream and level jet stream was amazing amazing package and in my opinion this is the best work from the level team it has the Designing with the Tailwind CSS has community specific things like Livewire and Inertia. It not only just provides the authentication, but two factor authentication, team management, browser, logout, and much more things. But what happened because it packed so much of things and using some of the things which is only uh, specific to Laravel community, people were not able to digest these things and they are, they were complaining like uh, we want to use uh, bootstrap we don't want to use livewire or either inertia how can i export thing how can i do this uh, that so much of questions were there so what taylor did taylor says okay if you don't want this high end super awesome thing if you want a very simple thing instead of using laravel ui which is based over bootstrap you can use this new laravel breeze package so it is also a authentication scaffolding but super super extremely simple clean package why i am saying this because laravel breeze just uses and this is very important it just uses blade and for designing it's using tailwind and don't worry about this if you don't want to use tailwind you can totally change anything you want it's up to you if you want to use bootstrap you can totally change the designing it's all up to you and i say all up to you means yes all up to you because if you check out this package in this source directory you can see we don't have anything literally nothing is there inside this package just a command and a service provider file for registering this package just done with this all these things we are having inside this stub file so this is the amazing thing that this package doesn't give you any connection with the package it totally provide you everything and you can customize it let's see how we can use it because we are not going to use any live wire inertia react view nothing so let's install this package we have this brand new level 8 application and if i start the server php adson serve localhost 8000 is there so on this localhost 8000 you can see we have a very nice cool level 8 home page or welcome page and you cannot see any login or register button obviously we don't have that Let's go to the Laravel Breeze and install it. I have already started or initialized Git inside it. So you can see if I go on the source control, there is no new file. But if I install this package with the help of Composer 2.0, it's super, super quick. You can see it's just installed. Now it says composer.json is updated and yes on this composer.json you can see we have new uh, laravel breeze package is installed but where is that yeah <laughs> here we have and it is inside your dev now the question comes if we have this authentication package why it is inside this dev why not we have this in a simple requirement which we will use on the production as I told you, this package just give you one thing, which is a command to run. And this command is just say, you need to export every file into the project. See this thing, all these exports are there. Okay, so how we can start? Now, here we have, after installing, we need to run that command, php artisan 
breeze install super easy thing and since you can see we don't have any new file but now if i run this now it says various files are now added into your project starting from this tailwind configuration once again if you don't want tailwind you can totally remove it there is no need of tailwind for this package i will tell you later so here we have a tailwind configuration no worries then we have a webpack obviously we need to compile these things like if we have some of the things here we need to run npm install and npm run dev so let's run these things and in the meantime we will explore the new files we have while this is installing let's see uh, here we get uh, start from the routes directory inside routes directory we have a new route file new route file called auth.php inside it you can see everything i can say everything is now available on your project all the registration registration page registration route for the real registration the login login post request forgot password reset password verify email and email verification confirm password log out oh my god everything is here so this is giving everything for you and now if you see on the web web.php it has required that auth dot file so that all the route will be available on this web.php file it's just for the separation and cleaning code okay next you can see we have this controller and here i told you everything you have in control here we have your authenticated session controller here you store the user and here you log out actually destroy means log out and there is no uh, you can say dependency or and no trait is available so previously with the use of laravel ui you need to use the trait because most of the code was available on you on the package and since on this level breeze we don't have anything inside the package and that's why we have this package inside our dev dependencies so after running all these things which is already there if you go on the home page reload it you can see on the right top we have this login and register super cool and now we can register now it says uh, there's a designing problem this is because it has not completed now you see everything is done so yep we have the server started and now if i refresh it's going to be awesome login form and where this login fo form is coming one more time i can take you to the resources views and here we have everything now see i told you you can have full control over this package that means if you don't want to have these uh, classes for the tailwind if you want your own classes for uh, bootstrap yes you can design your bootstrap form and have it here and uh, you can use it so we have a registration page and registration page is inside auth register.blade and here we are we have this logo which is coming here the name email password confirm password so we have this uh, name and uh, email and now if you are worrying about what is this x input and x label so wherever you see this x this means this is a simple laravel component so if i say x label or x input that means there should be some component and here we have a component directory inside that you will find we have an input so when we want to use this input that means i want to use the x input field and here it says uh, whatever you want to give the class so if you change the class here you will change the class for every uh, form you are using from this package this means switching from tailwind to bootstrap become easy okay so this is how we have a registration page same we have a login page we have a forgot password and everything is same i think if you are already familiar with other like laravel ui package if you are familiar then it's a simple thing everything is exactly there
i'm not going to show you by registering things because i want to focus more on how this package is simple how simple this package is it's also giving you the test yes as i told you oh my god tailor it's so awesome it has given you each and everything on your control because you have the testing and you can see you can actually learn from this test file that how you need to write the test uh, test cases in laravel because these tests are written by the laravel team and i'm sure some of them or most of them <laughs> written by taylor itself so these things are amazingly good and you can learn from them and every test is there so if i can run the test yes you can see test is passing so if i say vendor bin php unit all tests all tests are passing and this is amazing thing because because you can change anything and you can just run the test and test will going to tell you that if everything is right or not wow super thing next you can see on this http controllers we also have a request and we have a login request so whenever we say login any user then it will go to the authenticated session controller and here we have a store that means we are logging in so if i go to the auth route we have a login post and it says authenticated session controller go to the store method which is this one and now it says request authenticate here we have a request login request is there authenticate function is there you have you are first ensuring that rate limit is not exceeded which is a function created here ensure is not rate limited then we are doing something for rate limiting check and finally we are saying that auth attempt with the email and the password and fill the remember field and all sorts of things so why i am saying that this package give you everything suppose you also want to add one more field like uh, is active should be true this has to be always has to be true if you want this thing then you can add it uh, add it here and uh, if you want to have control over your login registration anything everything is in your control <laughs> okay so this is the new you can say breeze package given by a laravel team taylor otwell so once again you know that if something is not looking good laravel team provide you the alternative people want some simple alternative to the jet stream so here we have a laravel breeze i encourage you to test them out to check them out it will not take more than 10 minutes to just understand these things because it's uh, once again super easy and clean so if you like this video please hit thumbs up share with your friends and most importantly if you want to support me you can go to the patreon.com slash bitfumes and support me here because i am a full-time uh, content creator and uh, i need your support so we will meet in the next video till then goodbye